Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're just gonna jump right into the tutorial. You guys already know that this is a makeup tutorial for all of my college freshmen out there. If you are watching, congratulations on making it into college. I'm so happy for you and you are about to have the time of your life. So for this makeup tutorial, we're gonna start off doing what we always do. I'm using my Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm as my primer. And then I'm going to use my Dr. Brandt um, Pores No More Primer on top of that. You guys know you want to have a nice, smooth, clean looking face for your first day. Um, this tutorial is good for any day of the week, whether it's for a morning class, whether it's for an evening class, anytime, any place, any day, even for the weekends, for parties, whatever. This is just the perfect face for everything, okay? So I'm using cream foundations. I'm using my AJ Crimson Artist Kit. I'm using this because all of the things you need are in one place that will make it easier for you to get ready in the morning. I'm using the shade number seven as my foundation. This shade does run a little bit red on me, but when I balance it with the 4.5 that I use to highlight, it all makes sense. And then I use the number eight to contour. You guys know, you watched my other video when I use these um, AJ Crimson foundations, so you know how I balance everything. So we're just gonna do our regular foundation highlight and contour routine. So I don't have to, you know, walk you guys through that at all because you already know how to do it. We've been over this way too many times on my channel at this point. So let's talk about college. I'm gonna give you guys a few tips for college, all the college freshmen out there, whether today is your first day, you already had your first day, or your first day is coming up. I just wanna give you a few tips that I think could really help you guys throughout the school year. So the first tip is don't be a hoe. I honestly, guys, I can't stress this enough. I'm not even trying to be funny. Don't do it to yourself. I know you're young and you're excited and, you know, a lot's going on in college. You're meeting a lot of new people, but damn it, control yourself, okay? Because once a hoe, always a hoe. Like, even if you're not a hoe like you will be branded with that name if you do hoe like things and that will follow you throughout your entire college career like you can't get away from it you know what i mean so you're coming in as a freshman just relax yourself you can go to parties have a good time and everything but you know just just pace yourself relax i know you want to do some things but just just relax, okay, man? Relax. Because once you get labeled that, <laughs> you can do all types of things. You could perform miracles, and they still you would still be that hoe that does miracles, okay? So don't be a hoe, because if you're a hoe, it will follow you for the rest of your life. Tip number two. Um, tip number two, I would say live on campus if you're able to afford it if you're not able to afford it it's okay just spend as much time as you can on campus because part of the college experience is living on campus away from home you know what i mean so definitely live on campus definitely get that full college experience don't think that even if your college is like 10 minutes from your house still live on campus it matters oh these shadows are the shadows that i'm about to use Okay, so let me take a pause on the tips. For every um, for everything that I'm doing with eyeshadows, I'm using like three or four shades. So I pointed to all of the shades that I'm about to use. And every time I'm using a different set of shades, I'm going to point to each of them so you guys are able to um, replicate this look. Okay? So back to the tips. Live on campus get a meal plan and make sure that you get the meal plan that comes with um like extra money like on your id card that's where they'll load all of the extra money that can be used at like campus stores like this i don't know if this it's like this on every campus but um the c store it would be like a convenience store on campus where you can get like chips and 
noodles and stuff that doesn't um stuff that you can get like when you're hungry in the middle of the night or something like that because your meal plan if you don't eat at a certain time your meal is gone like i remember my freshman year when i lived on campus i never made it to breakfast i made it to breakfast the very last day of class because i had a final at 8 a.m that's the only reason that i actually made it to breakfast that entire year both semesters i never made it to breakfast and the one day that i went on that last day of class i was like this is what i've been missing like breakfast is always the best meal because barely anybody ever makes it there so i mean you're probably still not going to make it there but i would tell you that you should make it to breakfast try to get there so that's three tips don't be a hoe because that will follow you for the rest of your life like your reputation will be trash for the rest of your life you know what I mean like and I'm being so serious I remember this girl um, my freshman year even she became a hoe before school even started you know what I mean before the first day of school because you know you have freshman orientation so as a freshman and whoever else is living on campus you live on campus like a week or two before class even starts and she started off being a hoe from jump and by the time the first day of school rolled around I didn't even know her first name I just knew her as me pads you know what I'm saying so just make sure that you keep your reputation at the forefront of all of your activities. You don't want to get labeled as anything that you're not, okay? So number one, don't be a hoe. Number two, um, live on campus. Number three, get a meal plan that comes with um, extra bucks. At Howard, I believe it's called Bison Bucks. Um, at Bowie State, mm, I don't remember what it was called at Bowie State, but I remember I would use whatever I had at the C-Store. Um, yeah. And the fourth tip, didn't I say something else? I think I said a fourth tip. If I did, well, I'm sure you heard it. So those are my tips. If I can think of anything else, I'll let you guys know throughout the video, but you're about to really enjoy yourself. Freshman year for me was so fun. I had the best roommate ever like this girl was an absolute angel she was funny she was giving she was caring she was just everything and ebony if you're watching i still love you my girl so um if you have issues with your roommate talk to your ra hopefully they can work it out with you don't get in a fight because you'll get kicked out of school this isn't high school like <laughs> don't do that this is not high school don't play that game so um yeah hopefully your roommate will be really good hopefully you're able to live on campus if you've already started school let me know how it was in the comment section let me know what your first day was like what campus you're on what school you go to gosh i just i know you're having so much fun if you're a howard freshman let me know in the comment section i would love to say hello um, I just I hope you guys have a really really good year and if you need any other tips any advice let me know and I will be sure to answer just let me know everything in the comment section okay back to the tutorial so I'm gonna be bronzing now I'm using my covergirl bronzer and ebony bronze and you can see in this tutorial I used a mix of um, affordable products and um, a few like mid-range type of products because you know you're in college you might have a little bit of money or you could like be really 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 broke so I just wanted to accommodate everybody you know so I'm just um, putting on bronzer you know I use my bronzer as blush now I'm gonna fix plus myself um, as you can see the eyeshadow is very like natural if this is like my version of a daytime smoky eye it's very soft but it still like gives that smoky effect so it looks like you know very sultry so onto the lips I'm using my chestnut lip liner per usual and I'm going to use my favorite new lipstick from Mac ever like as a college freshman you're going into college you need to get this lipstick it's called taupe it is the best nude lipstick in my very humble opinion for all women of color like it is absolutely beautiful even if you're like very 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 light skin i've seen it on um time the infamous who is like super light skin and it looked beautiful on her too 
if you're a woman of color, if you're not, just get this lipstick. It's perfect um, for an incoming freshman. An incoming freshman in college, you know, you want to look done up, but you don't want to put that much effort in. This is perfect for you. So now I'm highlighting with Max Gold Deposit. Um, this is also pretty affordable for you college people. So get that also. And make sure you really load that highlighter on. Get the tip of your nose, the bridge of your nose, if you have the nose for it, above your lip, forehead, cheekbones, all that. So this is the tutorial. This is a very simple college look. Your hair should already be done. Um, as far as hair goes, you guys know I'm wearing Andibu hair. I'm still wearing my frontal and bundles. I'm wearing Cambodian straight. You guys, I'm going to upload the full... Um, what's it called the full uh what is the word the full review for this hair and the company um this week so you guys will have all the details but i swear to you guys i have not one complaint i love this hair so much it has never done me wrong it doesn't tangle it doesn't shed it's just perfection so if you have not checked out on hair yet Please do. Don't don't play yourself. Check out Antibu Hair. I'm going to leave all of the information for the company in the description bar. This is the makeup look. I hope you guys can see it. It's a little bit overexposed right now, but it's going to be corrected in a about a second. So, this is a super simple look. I hope you guys are able to recreate it. If you do recreate it, you know, let me know, tag me in it. I use the Morphe 35O palette, which I'm sure a lot of you have. So, yeah, this is the tutorial. Let me know how your first day went, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.